the new rollout of survivor passes, updates to Erangel's infamous bridges, improvements to reputation, match history, and performance, and more as we dive into the update 11.2 patch report. Welcome back, survivors. First up this patch, we're rolling out the survivor pass changes we've been chatting about. Starting with 11.2, the survivor pass and its theme will no longer be linked to the new season. This allows us a little more freedom in what we put in the passes while not being forced into a full season duration. Our first pass is a little less serious than the lava-filled highlands of Paramo. With Survivor Pass Pajama Party, you can unlock several different nighttime looks. You'll have four weekly missions available, and a total of six challenge missions that offer free and premium rewards, along with some G-Coin. The max level of this pass is 50, and like before, you can grab level-up packs separately or as part of special bundles that include the pass itself. Pajama Party only runs for six weeks, so don't sleep on this one. Next up, Erangel's infamous bridge to Sosnovka Island is getting a small rework. Our goal here is to tone down the choke point aspect of the bridge slightly, offering survivors an alternative means of crossing, once the explosions stop. To do this, we've widened the bridge slightly and added new catwalks. We've also improved cover a bit by adjusting the dump truck cargo box. We don't expect this will majorly change how people utilize the bridge, but we'd love to hear your thoughts once you've given the new bridge a few rounds of play. Our reputation system is getting some needed updates as well. We've made it easier to recover reputation if you've fallen below level 1, and your rep will also level up faster past level 4. A max deduction limit has also been added to prevent cases where someone could be falsely reported into oblivion by the enemy squad. We'll continue looking at the system and try to keep it performing as it should and free of abuse, so please let us know if there's anything else that needs to be looked at. Match history has seen some visual design improvements and has some added information, and there have been a number of performance improvements to the game overall as well. And one more thing. After quite a bit of feedback from the community, we've increased recoil slightly for passengers in moving vehicles. We hope this will put a little more challenge into those drive-bys, but let us know if it's too little or too much. Full details on those can be found in the patch notes. For now, pick up the new Survivor Pass, drop into Paramo, and turn your squad's slumber party into a slaughter party.